I just got this. Now I'm not gonna use it for its intended use. I'm actually gonna use it just to put shortcuts to programs. I have so many programs installed in my computer that I actually forget that I have specific programs for specific things. So if I haven't used it in a while, I end up forgetting that I have that program. So hopefully this will solve my issue. So I'm gonna write it in, I don't know. Um, I actually have an open, so I don't know how it actually works. It came in a regular brown box. And I guess, I, I don't know how I'm gonna code it so that I know what programs are what. So I'm replacing these three. That's the problem is that they just don't have enough buttons for all the programs. Um, right now I just shut the services down this way that, that's why this one's not coming up and it's beautiful the way you could put icons on there and everything it's really nice and easy to use and uh, it works flawlessly I'll probably end up selling these on eBay if the 80 key one works I just got to figure out how to remember which keys are which on the um, 80 key one so like I said I'm replacing these because just I'd like one unit more organized than having three separate units and I'm already running out of space. So let's just open it up, see how it looks inside. I said it's a regular brown box. Looks like a key puller right there. Nothing else in the box. So this is everything in the box. Paperwork. Different office, the actual 80 key. X keys. I don't know, these are to combine keys, maybe three actions, I don't know. This looks like a key puller. And uh, this is the cord. This key is right there. And have, this is a button. I have no idea what that's for. Maybe a light, so we'll find out. Feels nice, does not feel cheap at all. So, so far I like it. So I may just set it up for video programs on top, photo programs in the bottom. And I guess after time I'll figure out which one is which. I don't know how this is labeled, numbered or anything. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So let's plug it in and try it out. First, let me take a measurement of the cord. Let me just physically measure the unit itself. And I want to do it from the bottom. Okay. Seven and a quarter, and then we do the other side. Looks like the same size. I know. This one's it's actually wider. About an inch has a little lift over the other side to stand it up. Half an inch. That's the button, I don't know what that's for. almost 114 inches or nine feet six inches long the cord so 
So like I said, I'm swapping these three out for that single one here. I found these inside the box, the stickers. These are blank ones, you write on them. And they're sticky. Oh, they're not sticky. They're not sticky at all. Got a wax type of thing in the in the back. Okay. Um, yeah, not really sticky, so I guess it'll be easy to remove all else and put that back. That one's gonna probably fall off. You'll see this at the end. You get details of the different keys. And these are blank ones that come. And according to the instructions, you write on them with a pencil or whatever you want, I guess. And this is the actual item itself. And this is the key puller that comes inside. So if I take a key, I put it in, pull it very easy. Now, where does the label go? So let me take the one I just took out, see what happens. No. No. Does these sep oh these separate? Oh pretty cool. I didn't even realize that. So the key itself separates. Alright. Okay. So it separates, you put number inside and these two separate So that's how you put it in. This comes off on top of here. I guess I don't have to take the whole key out. Ah, the whole key comes out anyway. Again, take it out. These two separate here. And that's it. And then you put one of the labels in there and that'll come out. Put this one sideways, but I'll fix it. Awesome. Very easy to take out and put in. Let me show you inside. It's like a rubber springy thing. And there's 80 of them. Okay, let's go with the re let's uh, start replacing them. So I just removed the three over here, and look how red it is. I just plugged it in. USB powered, no external power. This is gonna be where I'm gonna leave it. Maybe, I'm not sure. X keys programmable keypads and keyboards. 80 key, XK80 by X keys platform. Windows Vista, Mac OS X. Windows XP, Windows 7 rated, everyone 10 plus. Price, $249.95 free one day and free returns. Sold by Ergo Warehouse and fulfilled by Amazon. Style name, 80 key. 80 key instantly customizable control panel with a compact footprint perfect for video or audio control switching 80 keys with USB connection to computer includes programming software for Windows addressable blue and red backlighting for each key. X keys provide rugged, reliable computer input hardware programmable keypads, keyboards, 
and controls, serving everyone from individual users to multinational corporations and providing mission-critical controls with unparalleled support. Thousands of our devices make the man-to-machine connection in studios, laboratories, offices, factories, and homes worldwide. Clear key lenses hold legends securely and protect them from wear. Select from a sheet of pre-printed icons or create your own legends on the blank sheet which is also included. Clearly labeling your dedicated keys improves efficiency and shortens training time for new users. Instant customization. Add or remove keys, blockers, and large keys to create an intuitive layout for your workflow. Grouping keys with related functions improves efficiency and allows the user to focus on creative elements instead of searching for tools or functions in the interface. Two tall keys, one wide key, and a key puller are included. Large keys and key blockers are available as accessories. Included programming software for Windows and OS X. MacroWorks 3.1 for Windows features a wide range of macros including shortcuts to frequently used programs, folders, and files. Controller made for OS X offers a comprehensive building block approach for simple or complex macros. Both programs are included as free downloads with all X-Keys USB devices. Keystrokes and combinations may also be written into the X-Keys memory to emulate a USB keyboard or mouse function on any operating system. Use MacroWorks for Windows to take advantage of this feature. Application-specific layers and special functions. Using MacroWorks for Windows. Each application on your system can have its own set of dedicated keys. This allows the same key to trigger different macros in different programs. For example, the Move Tool shortcut in Photoshop is V button SketchUp. It is M using an application specific layer. The same key will send V if Photoshop has focus and M if SketchUp has focus. An array of special functions including F13, F24 keys, multimedia commands, play pause, volume up or down, previous or next track, etc., time and date insert, and more are selected under the Functions tab in MacroWorks. Complex macros may be constructed and edited line by line including delays, repeats, and separate macros on press and release of an X key. Well, I changed my mind. I'm not going to use this the way I was going to use it, and I'm actually just going to sell it on eBay. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I never got the program working the correct way. Pretty much, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Uh, it's a nice device. I've heard many things. I saw videos on it and everything. It'd probably be great for a, a programmer or a, a gamer that uses everything on here. But I just want it as a shortcut key. It's a lot of work to just get a shortcut key working. Plus the fact that I can't see what everything is. I thought it'd be easy. I was gonna break them down by groups and lines, you know, making videos, utilities, and then photo apps. But I found it much, was so much easier, it's the uh, Steam Deck. Now, technically, I can do everything I can do on the X key 80 on this, but with an added benefit of being able to use this for what I wanted for, which is a shortcut key. This is the 32 key version, and I decided just to go ahead and purchase it. It was on special during the holidays. So I made a video on it already. I love it. I can see everything I want and need. You can make shortcut key for games. You can do anything you want that you can do on the X keys on this. Uh, maybe the X key has other features that I know nothing about in regards to uh, running certain um, Batch programs, batch keys, batch configurations, batch setup. So, uh, you know, it just didn't work out for me. I, I'd rather go with the uh, Steam, the uh, Stream Deck instead of this. Too bad, I really wanted it to work. It's 80 keys, but you know what? The 32 key Stream Deck, it's working just fine, perfect. I, as you saw, I didn't even fill up the keys yet, so. It's more than enough at this time. And I'm um, just gonna put this back up on eBay. It was uh, a trial and error, it didn't work for me. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I only hear really good things about it. Everybody loves it. I just can't use it, that's it. I. That's it, there's no, nothing else. It's just me. I just can't use it. So I'm finishing up my video letting you know that it just didn't work out for me. I couldn't configure it. I couldn't get any everything working the way I wanted it to. 
Um, and it was me, not this device. The device is great. It's just me. Uh, like I said, I'm not any expert. I'm just a regular computer guy, and I tried different things at different times, and this just didn't work for me. This is not made for what I'm looking to use it for. But according to everything I've read and seen on YouTube and so and spoken to with other people, they love this thing. They usually get the 40 key one. They have multiple ones. I think they even use this for music, which is pretty cool. But it, you know, for me right now, I have no use for it. So I'm gonna put it on eBay and uh, you know, move on. All right, so I hope the video helps. I hope it was informative to some extent. I, I hope you enjoyed the close-ups and the uh, information you did get on this, which wasn't much, but, um, you know, I hope it helps. And uh, I hope you liked the video. It's just, just some close-ups. I believe the software you get, yeah, you get the software online. I'll leave the link to downloading to the website to download the software below and all the information below. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.